Hi, welcome to the Embedded World 2022. It's me, Bharat from Econ Systems, a marketing manager, and let me introduce our colleague, is Abdul. Hi, this is Abdul from Econ Systems. I look after the new business for uh, Europe and UK region. Then let me introduce uh, my one of my colleagues, Taruna. Hello, my, my name is Taruna, and I'm handling <coughs> key and strategic accounts here at Econ for Europe region. Nice. Yep. Uh, so far the so show is uh, pretty good and we have a lot of interesting demo. Uh, my Taruna, I mean my colleague will explain you, she walk you through all the demos. Hello there again. So uh, we have today on the first demo here, uh, Sony Stavis range IMX485 based sensor. So uh, this is a 10-bit raw Bayer sensor and this is currently running on the AGX Xavier platform. Uh, but within a week's time, we will actually be launching this camera on the Oren platform. That's the world's most powerful embedded platform right now. Next, here is a Sturdycam 20. This is a GMSL2 camera and you can connect up to a 15 meters length where your uh, requirements between the camera and the processor should be more than 3 meters or 15 meters. This is the camera solution for you. Can we check the, the descriptions you have here? It says... With, with of course. <coughs> NVIDIA Jetson, AGX. Um. This is running on the Oren kit. The GMS2 camera is running on the Oren kit. Alright. So. Our next demo here is actually targeted at the medical industry. And uh, this is for the pre-analyticals uh, IVD in vitro diagnostics. This camera is based on the AR0521 sensor, which is a 5 megapixel sensor. What this can do currently is identify the colors of the test tube and tell you what color it is. Uh, this camera is probably the smallest AI powered camera because this has an AI chip inside. And uh, what this is actually a work in progress. And what this can also do, what this can also do is uh, identify the tray and say uh, if a test tube is present or not, and even if it is there, if it is empty or full. I'll leave you over to Abdur, my colleague here, who is taking care of the new business development, and he'll explain you through the other demos. Thank you. Hi. So uh, the next camera in line is our uh, time of flight camera. It is the TOF camera, which we like to call, and it has two cameras basically. One is for depth sensing, and one is for RGB sensing. And this is a two megapixel camera, which is used for RGB, and this is a VGA camera, and. Uh, these are uh, the light sources which send the pulses for calculation of the depth. Uh, you can see here, this is the display. This is our uh, interface that we've developed. This camera works in two different modes. One is the near mode, which is from 0.2 meters to 1.2 meters. And uh, you can see here, as you go closer, this is a 3D point cloud which is created. And based on the distance, you get different colors. The same thing, when I, when I change it to say the far mode, it works from one meters to six meters. Now we can see more information because the range of the camera has increased. It is now working from one meters to six meters. <coughs> so this is a um, this big demand for time of flight. Yes. And the all next, kinds of applications. Could be yes, yes. It is basically used for depth <coughs> sensing, wherein you want to create a 3D image or something like that, where you want to get the RGB information as well as the depth information for each of your pictures. So that is, that is the solution for depth sensing that we have. Uh, what are the coolest ideas you've seen with this kind of solution that could be done? Is yeah. it Yes. Robots, uh, driving, or where do you put it? Yes, it is uh, primarily uh, focused on autom autonomous mobile robots, which are the AMRs, which require a lot of depth sensing to be done. So that is the targeted application for that particular product. Nice. What are we seeing here behind you? Yes. Uh, behind me, you have this 180-degree stitching camera. I mean, it's a yeah. three-camera setup, basically. Oh, okay. Yes. Here. This is the one. Here you have three cameras arranged in an inward manner to cover a complete 180 degree view. And uh, these three cameras are based on 13 megapixel sensors, which is the AR1335 sensor. This is connected to the NVIDIA AGX Xavier here. 
through MIPI interface, and uh, this is the 180 degree stitched view for the camera. So it's stitching using a three camera setup. Uh, I think you can smartness in there. Yes. What is a technology you have to develop to, to stitch? Uh, it's basically three cameras taking three different images. There'll be some overlapping regions between these images. We'll have to uh, cut down those overlapping uh, images and create a combined uh, image of 180 degrees using three cameras, uh, using a three camera setup. Nice. So it has this to be synchronized. All those images have to be taken at the same time and all of that. There's a lot of cameras in this. Yes, this is a range of cameras. Uh, not the complete range, but some cameras that we have. Yes, so we have a wide range of cameras, say from 1 megapixel to 16 megapixel. Some of the cameras are on display here. Here you can see the Nile Cam uh, camera solutions. You have two Nile Cam camera solutions. These are based on the GMSL interface. Then you have uh, the AR1335 based autofocus camera here. It is, I mean, it is blocked okay. right now, so it... Ah, ah, it's connected. Yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, this is the AR... Yeah, this is the AR1335 based autofocus camera, which is a USB 3.0 camera. You have uh, various other cameras. There's a CU27 here, which is uh, a very good NIR camera. Again, it's a USB 3.0 solution. You also have cameras with the enclosure. This is a global shutter solution, the C3Cam24 CUG. So that's about uh, our range of cameras. A lot of cameras. Yeah, and these are not all the cameras. cameras are just all over the cameras. world. Yes, we, we supply cameras all over the world. And all these logos. Yeah, we have a very strong partner ecosystem. Yes. So uh, for any of your ISP needs or sensor needs, we are partners with Sony, OnSemi, and Omnivision. Uh, if you have any of the ARM, GPU, or CPU needs, uh, we are uh, we have a very very strong partner ecosystem, as you can see behind. Um, what is the important thing about partnering with the SSC vendor? You get to optimize everything? Of course, of course. Uh, we are NVIDIA's Elite partners. So uh, being NVIDIA's Elite partners, we have access to their internal ISP. So any sensor that you would want uh, to work with, even if it is not on the roadmap <coughs> or portfolio, if that is what you're looking for, we would be able to fine tune the sensor and design, develop, uh, and uh, manufacture the camera modules just for you. We, we also offer custom solutions, yeah. And when you say you work with Sony, they provide so many camera sensors, you just take them and Yes, them. We, we have an R&D team who decides, uh, uh, see, uh, there are about three sectors that we actually target. One is the industrial, retail, and the medical. So our R&D teams and engineers work along uh, with the close uh, the partners and then decide which sensor is going to go into which of our applications and business cases. So whatever that is better suited, that's what they'll uh, select and work with. And uh, there's also board makers, uh, PCB designers. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, so uh, we have more than 350 plus engineers working across R&D, support, um, you know, custom uh, camera development, product development as such, services, custom solutions. So uh, that is uh, how the entire uh, employees are placed. Yeah. Engineers. Nice. Yeah. And where? Uh, we are uh, from India, south of India. It's a city called Chennai. We are headquartered there. Uh, we have our uh, manufacturers in Delhi, contract manufacturers in Delhi, and we have our sales offices in US. Uh, we also have our uh, European representative here. Our European distributor is uh, Silicon Highway, so they are our European distributors here. And uh, the, the, the company history is many years? Yeah, uh, we've been uh, in the business for almost uh, more than 18 years now. We started off as a design uh, uh, house and uh, slowly we realized that uh, there is a huge gap between customers who need uh, smaller volumes of cameras and then there are uh, the sensor providers or other component providers who demand huge volume. So we decided to act as a bridge between the two. So if a sensor provider de demands that you need about a 10,000 unit volume as a MOQ, we get that 10,000 units MOQ and then uh, we give it, we uh, design, develop and manufacture the cameras and we give it to our customers who need just 500 units or 1,000 units. So we act as a bridge between uh, the small volume customers Right from small volume, we also cater to about 300k volumes per year. So uh, the volume's not really a... And computer vision on the edge is a huge topic right now. Of course. And you're doing just a lot of work in there. 
Uh, yes, uh, so we do have a, a spin-off from our company. Uh, it was actually a separate division. Do you yeah. want to go inside? Yeah. Do you want to join us? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have a spin-off. It's called Vis AI Labs. Uh, so they are the ones who actually work on the AI and ML needs. So if there are any AI ML needs, uh, we will be perfectly capable of taking care of them as well. Cool. Awesome. How does the embedded world, how's it to see real people again? Oh, it's lovely. It's fantastic being here after almost three years' time, I believe. Uh, so because of the pandemic, we were not able to be here for uh, the last uh, couple of years' show. So after almost two to three years, meeting the customers here and live in person brings a lot of energy and enthusiasm. How was it like uh, to stay connected with people during the pandemic? You just oh. did a lot of video chat? Yes, yes, it was, it was always virtual and video chats all the time, Teams calls or Zoom calls, that's how uh, we've been managing to stay in touch and meet each other. Cool. And now, just a whole bunch of new projects. Everybody coming and saying, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, and you can supply. Of course, no of course. with the components? Oh, uh, of course, the whole world's facing a supply chain issue with regards to semiconductor. Uh, pandemic's not been very kind to our industry. Uh, so there is a global supply chain issue that is happening. But like I said, we have a very, very strong partner ecosystem and we have a very resilient uh, supply chain. So we are uh, ensuring we uh, get the forecast from our customers so we can <coughs> cater to their needs also. We understand the timelines that they're working with. So we are able to help them meet their uh, time to market. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing everything. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope to see you at the next time at World. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.